Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Alina of the Arena. This has been on my radar for a long time. In fact, I promised to cover this game like months ago. Um, and I always intended to, but uh, then the game, uh, basically they're, they're heading out of early access and uh, putting the game on discount one last time before they raise their price. So that seemed like a good enough prompt for me to give it a go than any and i'm really glad i did because this has already become basically one of my favorites uh of the basically roguelite tactical games a la kind of like factics or hoplite um, this one falls into uh that kind of category with a bit of deck building mechanics as well uh as is you know very like the thing these days uh I understand being burnt out on deck builders, but I will say you should give this one a go because it's very different from a lot of the ones that I've played and I really appreciate how it sets itself apart from the crowd. So let's give it a go. I'm just going to do a normal run. I have not won. I have played on veteran. I did get to the last boss and I got very close, but uh, it's, it's, it's a difficult game. And I will say right away, um, it's very, very sparse light on meta progression. It's probably why part part of why I like this game a lot, but also I just really, really like the decision making and combat in this game. It just it's excellent, excellent. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. So there's a lot going on, and and the game does its best to explain it, but you do also have to kind of suss things out yourself as well a little bit. Um, basically, you have a left hand and a right hand. Um, you can have any number of items or weapons in both of those hands. Right now we have none, so we're just kind of using our fists. Um, but you'll notice that our cards, for lack of a better term, in the middle um, are color-coded. So our strike here uses our left hand, our guard uses our right hand. We can have really like kind of game-changing weapons or items that take those hands. So um, it doesn't make difference right now but I'm just kind of laying the groundwork for how things are gonna go so we only get to move once this guy is about to do quite a lot of damage to us so I I think I actually want to move out of the way although this guy tends to always do quite a bit of damage I don't know we're gonna I'm gonna move out of the way and I'm just gonna end my turn see see what happens I, this is not like one of those kind of deck builders where every turn you're gonna want to do something like you're gonna want to do damage you're gonna want to do as much as you possibly can it doesn't really work like that so he only has 10 health we can actually kill him here so i'm gonna go ahead and do our wind up which is going to double our damage then i'm going to do a strike that'll do eight and then we can finish them off for one more and we we take zero damage sometimes it's just better to move away and see if you get a better hand full on strike i've never actually gotten this card Self-exhaust. If this card is not retained at the end of your turn, it will be exhausted. Interesting. Um, jab. Deal one damage plus one additional damage for each jab in your deck. If da damage is dealt, add a copy of your uh, to your discard pile. That's an interesting one. That could be really good for the last boss because it's kind of a long game. Deadly touch. Apply 99 death mark and two sapped. This is a really decent. I kind of want to try jab. I've never, I've never tried that one before. So now we get choices. I've talked a little bit lately about how I am, uh, I'm a little bit tired of seeing a very by the numbers um, kind of tree. Uh, it, it seems to be in basically every single roguelite these days. This one is different. So I, you know, I'm happy to say that this is not really part of that it's doing something at least a little bit different the difference here is this is not and it took me like almost a full playthrough to realize what was going on but uh, this isn't a decision you're making you're not choosing like a path you're not choosing a uh, like a you're not on a crossroads here choosing a path instead you're making your choice of what is currently uncovered these three are uncovered if i uncover this one it will Basically, on, uh, after I'm done this fight, this one will be uncovered, and then I will still get to choose from these three. Which I really appreciate, because it means that you can kind of reserve some of your, uh, you know, like, you could almost call them uh, respites for later when you need them more. So, 
Um, let's let's do our meditate and then we'll do a fight. There's no no real reason not to meditate. Um, so we can either create a card, we can forget a card, which is you know this is important in any deck builder is paring down our uh, our deck to basically its its purest synergy and then switching. Switching is an interesting one because it means. Uh, you are switching one of your cards from one hand to the other, meaning if it's a left-handed card, you're switching it to a right-handed card. This can be really, really helpful because if you have a defense-based weapon or item in your left hand and a uh, attack-based uh, weapon in your other hand, then it's important to have all of your defense uh, cards kind of connected to your defense-based item, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna create a card. I think that that would be a good thing to do. I really like Watchful, it's really good. I haven't seen Blood for Blood though. Gain seven block, gain one vengeance. When attacks for this this turn, gain focus equal to 50% damage received. Uh, you play, de uh, the next combat you play deals one additional damage. Okay, interesting. Uh, Equal to 50% damage received. Okay, so this one gives you block, but also makes your next attack better. Change tactics. Select cards to discard from your hand, then draw as many cards, and then exhaust. That makes sense. Watchful is really good. Watchful is a defense card that you keep in your hand regardless of uh, how many turns pass. Like, it stays in your hand, and then it gains more block the more it is retained. Um, I believe that even means that the, when you play it and the next time it comes into your deck, or sorry, into your hand, it keeps that amount of defense. So this is a card that gets kind of better and better as the combat goes on, which I really appreciate. This is a really cool card, though. I kind of want to try that. I, I want to try it just to see how it works. We're not going to do the elite. I will absolutely get destroyed. I haven't seen this enemy type before. Spike Beetle. Enemy prepares to deal two damage two times. One attack to deal two damage back. That's spiky. So this guy ta Okay, so we have to like set up a guard just to be able to attack them. Um interesting. I don't know I don't know what I should be doing in this one. Kind of want to move toward them and like we'll have to like guard and then attack them, and we'll take a little bit of damage. But that's actually that's 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 okay. We can take a little bit of damage. We'll do um, we'll do a jab just to try and get it stronger. Wait, did it? Yeah, it adds a copy of jab. Okay, so it's going to be a bit stronger the next time we play it. And now if I do this, it's going it means we're going to take some damage. Yeah, so now we're going to take four damage when they attack us. That's unfortunate. Can't really avoid that. Sometimes you can't avoid the damage. That being said, it's good to try. So this is a good um, occasion where we can try and just block everything and then use their blood for blood to gain as much vengeance as possible. Or focus, sorry. Select one card to remove. Uh, I'll, I'll remove this strike since we're just going to do guard. So we're going to block everything, I think. Focus plus two. Fo focus plus two. Nice. So that means our next attacks are going to be doing a lot more damage. And then we can use our wind up to make them do even more damage. We could possibly even kill this person on this turn. 16. Oh, not quite. Not, not quite, unfortunately. Um, hmm. We're going to be taking four from each of these guys. Kill them. Oh, I can't kill them, right? Can I, I can kill this lad, but uh, they're only doing four. This person's doing six, so we'll have to get rid of that. And we're going to take, unfortunately, eight damage. That's okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Um, I wonder if I take damage from uh, this lad when I attack them even if they die yes okay does that not mean we gain we should gain focus attack this turn gain focus equal to 50% damage received well I don't know but we're we're gonna we're gonna power through here we gain plus two focus 
I guess it doesn't mean when, like when you're attacked. Might mean that. Well, we're we should be good here. Yeah, we can we can kill them. So not great. We took a little bit of damage, but there's plenty of opportunities to recover that damage. Deflect is very good armor, but it costs two energy to use. Uh, heavy rain. If damage is dealt, draw a random heavy rain from the draw pile and reduce this cost to zero this turn. Interesting. Draw a random heavy rain from the draw pile and reduce its cost to zero. And then dupe. Deal six damage. Return a random zero cost card from the discard pile to your hand. Dupe not included. Dupe is a one cost card though. These are interesting. <clears throat> I think what I should do, what I should be doing, <clears throat> is paying uh, close attention to how I'm forming my deck. So right now I have two defense cards in blue and two defense cards in red. I think that just, you know, that just means, but we have an extra defense in red. So it might mean that uh, we should start forming our attacks around blue. So that would mean we would wanna, we would wanna take heavy rain. Let me just double check that I've got that right. Yeah, so our attacks are in blue, so we want to take Heavy Rain. And we have options here. Um, the Rusty Crossbow is a interesting card that requires... It's ranged, which is really good. Um, but it also means we have to reload. Reloading isn't a terrible thing. It's something we can work, work around, but it does, it is a um, problem-ish. Uh, we'll, take, we'll take Weakening Dust. Weakening Dust is a consumable, and it's like a one-time use that will uh, hit a bunch of enemies. So uh, I'm gonna rest, and I'm actually gonna train. I'm not gonna heal. We'll have more opportunities to heal later. Kind of want to upgrade wind up. Oh, it makes it a zero cost. Oh, that's actually really good. Um, I haven't actually upgraded too much in this game. I upgraded one time basically. Uh, so this just makes it a 10 defense as opposed to a seven. Not bad, could, could be better though. This becomes a two. Plus one additional damage for each jab in your deck. Wouldn't that make it a three But at the time of using it? So this would be good because I'm going to be putting more cards. Oh, and it also makes it a zero cost. Okay, that's that's an obvious take. It's also another blue attack, right? Yeah, so that, that works well with our um, set. So I'm going to go ahead and do another fight. So these guys are a real problem because they can basically lock you in place. Um, so what I'd like to do is actually, I'm going to use a slam to get out of the way of both this guy's ranged attack and this guy's snag. And then we're going to do a wind up and a jab on this lad. We should be able to kill him on the next turn. Someone just threw me a, a better crossbow, maybe. Yeah, it's a, we have a rusty one and this one looks to be a normal one. So it might be worth grabbing that on the next turn. Actually, I can kill this guy now. So that's good. I do really appreciate, first of all, I appreciate the flavor of this game. Like the whole arena thing aesthetic works really well. I love the little uh, comments here and there, like the cheers are really cool. I also really, really like the music, especially like the last boss. Um, the music is, is really, really cool. Um, so we need to reload before we can attack with our crossbow again. That means using up a blue card, um, which isn't a big deal. I'm going to move over here and I'm going to take the, our, this better crossbow. I'm just going to pick it up. That means we don't have to reload, but that's not really important. The important part is that we have a better crossbow now. Um, not really much we can do now. You, since I, uh, Like I said, you can only uh, move once. So there's really nothing we can do right now. We, we can't attack anyone. So they're about to snag us. This guy can't move us. By the way, you can... Um, almost like an into the breach style way like shuffle people around so that an enemy will accidentally hit another enemy 
uh, which is really fun. Like seriously, when you do it, it's so satisfying to do that. So we're gonna attack and then we have to um, use up this guard to reload and then attack again. That doesn't use up an energy, which is something uh, like really good to know is you don't use up an energy uh, by discarding a card to reload your weapon. Something I haven't tried is I wonder, does it cost an energy to swap hands? It doesn't. What an interesting idea. So you could, I guess, you could use a bunch of cards. Um, like you could you could attack with the um, your your crossbow in one hand and then reload with the other color. I wonder if that works. I kind of wouldn't mind trying just to find out. So let's move here. And they didn't wind up an attack, which is good for us. We're gonna do a heavy rain, I think. Select yourself. Oh, we have to reload first, right? So, okay, let's try switching. We're gonna switch here. Then we're gonna reload with our guard. And then we're gonna, oh, weapon use this turn cannot be unequipped. Ah, okay. So we kind of um, screwed up our turn a little bit, not too badly. Well, a little bit, but it's, you know, these are good things to know, honestly. I'm gonna use the jab just like on nothing so that we get another copy in our, in our deck. So then I'm gonna swap back. I was just thinking, is it actually better off in our other hand? No, not really. Well, we're gonna do a wind up and then we're gonna strike kill. You win. So we have faint uh, or feign. I don't, I'm not sure which you prefer. Gain focus equal to 25% damage dealt does not use focus. That's actually pretty good. It combos quite well with our other card that gives us focus because we would do extra damage with the focus from our blood for blood, but then also uh, gain more focus. And then also it doesn't use it up. So that'd be really good actually. Double, double targets burn. Gain one poise and one light footed. Draw one additional card next turn. Next initiative you play costs, oh, next initiative you play costs zero. What is, which one is initiative? It's an interesting one. I think I'm gonna take faint. It's also blue, which I've said is our attack. Um, color. So we're gonna get rid of our rusty crossbow. Um, kind of wouldn't mind grabbing that health potion. So we're gonna throw that in our, well, you, you only get like one slot for consumables. I do have this other consumable in our left hand, but that's only because we haven't gotten any other weapons and we'll gain one gold. I think the game does kind of incentivize you picking items up because you don't get basically any money for selling stuff. So like, just just use it. Just like use anything and everything you can. Cause you're not gonna get much money for it. Uh, you visit an alchemist whom in is rumored to grant people power. However, upon your request he replies, you can't gain something without giving something in return. So this increases damage dealt by two, reduce block gain from cards in your hand by two. Uh, I don't, I don't know about that one. Reduce damage dealt by two. Increase blocks, block gained from cards in your hand by two. I, I don't think I want any of this. One can make you glass cannon and the other one can kind of make you tanky, but either way, I'm not, not a huge fan. Okay, so this is brutal. These lads are, are tricky to begin with. Kind of want to try and deal with this guy first. And I almost, I feel like I actually have enough to do that. Um, wouldn't really make sense to use our windup because it's like we don't have anything that it, it uses up an action, so we may as well just use our act, like attacks. Oh, that's right, we have to reload. So it actually does make sense to use our windup. Um, they're gonna die either way, so I'm gonna use the jab so we get more jabs in our deck. Oh, a new weapon. Longsword. Longsword does really good attack, but it also gives, puts fatigue in our hand, which is not great. 
So we'll reload and end our turn. We're gonna be surrounded on the next turn, which is a problem. If I had slam, that would be really good. Um, so I'm just gonna use up my actions to uh, defend and we'll discard one of our cards and we'll take no damage and we'll also gain some focus, which is quite nice. We're still surrounded. Um, we could slam and then we could get away from these three attacks. Slam this guy over here. We do take a little bit of damage, but that's okay. Heavy Rain... Okay, Heavy Rain's gonna do 14 damage, but we can kill this guy now. I guess we'll use Heavy Rain to reload. Heavy Rain wasn't gonna be any better. So, we took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We don't have any attacks that do, like, Splash or Cone. Um, gain Focus equal to 25 okay so this would be good if we had focus but we didn't get the we didn't get the good pull um that being said we it might be worth winding it up deals double damage i feel like wind up would be better if instead of double damage it does the attack twice in some ways but i guess that would be very overpowered so i think what we want to do is move out of the way because again, we're surrounded right now. Then do a guard. And then I would like to do a feint, but it's not going to kill the creature. So we may as well do our jab. So we, our jab is worth more. And we'll end up taking no damage. And actually, I'm going to use our wind up. The nice thing about the wind up is that plus one kinetic actually uh, crosses over turns. So the tricky thing here is movement. Um, you only get to move once and you don't get to move if you do anything but move. So what I mean by that is if I use my, if I use up my heavy rain, for instance, then the uh, initiative disappears. It's just gone. Um, I guess, okay, so that's the initiative. So that other card would have made initiative free. So we're gonna move out of the way. It means we can't kill this guy, but it's just important that we do that. And then I'm going to use our defense, get rid of this guy, and then we're going to kill this guy. And we'll reload. We're good. We don't take any damage. We could probably... Oh, this is not a good place to be. We don't have any defense cards right now. Okay, so you know what? Let's just like hold out. We don't need to, we don't need to rush this. Better to hold out for a turn so that we can take no damage. All right, so let's use our guard. And then... Hmm, this is tricky because... All right, well, we'll use our jab. I was thinking we could wind up. There's no point in winding up because we can't, we can't use our weapon because we have to reload, right? So we may as well do our wind up and then guard and then we take no damage, and then our next attack will probably kill. Perfect. So let's guard to make sure we don't take the two damage from uh, the spikes. And we're good. You win. It is going well. Combust. Apply two burn to every enemy within range. Take one direct damage at the end of each turn. Stack decreases each turn. Okay, standard, standard-ish mechanics, but like I've said before, I don't mind if mechanics are reused so long as they're reshuffled in some kind of interesting way. This game definitely takes a lot of uh, influence from a lot of different games, but it really does put them all to good use in a very unique flavor. Born in Flames. Gain three block when occupying a flaming tile at the end of each turn. Ignore the effects of burn. Uh, I'm gonna say I don't think I, I don't think any of these really serve us. Combust is kind of nice, but it, it costs one and it's only gonna do two damage to each thing in range. And I don't know what the range is. Creates flaming tiles within the attack range. Receive one burn when occupying. It's too bad we can't get both of these, huh? Oh, and it also has knockback. Um, it's tempting. It's kind of tempting. This one isn't uh, in our in our attack color. 
kind of want to just skip it, but we only get plus five gold for skipping. So I guess I will take combust just to try it out. Um, I don't really want to take longsword since it does add fatigue. Increases damage by two area attack. Oh, it's an area attack. Oh, interesting. Um, we could make use of it on occasion. I'd rather it than the Rusty Sword. The Rusty Sword is a very boring, like, who cares card. I wish I'd use my health potion. I wish I could use my... Oh, I can use my health potion. Perfect. So I'll use that to recover our little bit of damage and then you put the Weakening Dust there. Weakening Trap is actually pretty good. Might even be better. Within a Frontal Arc, this is a, a action, whereas this applies too weak. This applies... Too weak. Okay, so actually I think the dust is better. It's basically the same. This does four damage though. I don't think four damage is really anything. Oh, and immobilized. Okay, you know what? The trap is better in some ways. Oh, the long sword is two-handed. Okay, that does make the rusty sword worth taking. I, I don't want to. I don't want a two-handed weapon. Uh, we lose the crossbow, and I'm in, I'm kind of enjoying the crossbow right now. Okay, let's um, let's do our meditate. I'm actually gonna switch one of our cards. Uh, I want to switch one of our guards to red. We could forget a card, like I could forget a guard guard instead, but that's not necessarily a good idea because you do need guards. Oh, oh, this is this is a tough one. Um, all right, so what are these guys gonna do? Channel, enemy prepares to apply one rage to a target. Attack to interrupt. Interesting. We can attack them. We can attack this one at the very least. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh wait, no, we can't. Sorry, I, I don't know why I thought I could. Um, we'll move and then attack them. So we cancel them. And I don't, I didn't have, I guess I should have attacked this guy instead. I could have, well, no, there's, there's no wrong answer here, I guess. I'm sure someone out there is like, yes, there was. <laughs> there, 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 absolutely. You, you, you found it, dude. There was no wrong answer, except you found it. Um, all right. So oh, this heavy rain, oh, we could kill this person. So let's go ahead and move here, wind up, and then Heavy Rain kill this. And then we will reload, and we're good. This guy is applying some rage, which is a little bit of spooky. They're probably going to do some nasty damage when they get to us eventually. I don't know who has the range. Oh, sorry, the rage. Um... So why don't we move over here and take no damage and gain some focus. We'll get rid of slam. Although I've never slammed an opponent into someone else. So let's get rid of this guard instead. Although this is also gonna give us some focus. So why don't we do that? If you slam someone into the wall, it stuns them, which is kind of interesting. But I was, I, I want to get some more focus so that we gain, like, we have a lot of focus, and then our next attack will do a ridiculous amount. Oh, we have to reload. I didn't reload, did I? So this, does this work for, oh, I see. So we can, it, you, like, you can put it in a huge cone like this, except you can't. It's only around me. Interesting. Hmm... This is a tricky place to be in because I, I do want, like, I I have almost the ability to kill two opponents here, but not quite. Just barely not. All right, let's use this Combust just to try it. And it also knocks back, so we get to see what happens here. So it stuns this lad. We are in burn right now, though. So I don't know if that means that we're going to take damage on our next turn. We have to reload still. 
So why don't we go ahead and use our heavy rain to reload and then we'll use our wind up and jab to kill this person. And we still have a card left, but it's not really helpful. What I could do is swap. Oh, weapon used this turn cannot be unequipped. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So we gain one burn. I'm assuming the longer we hang out and fire, the more burn we're gonna get. So this burn card is kind of a problem. Uh, this is gonna do seven damage. Then we'll reload, then I'll defend. And we're defending everything and I, I hope that also means we defend against the fire. No, I think the fire does direct damage. So this guy is going to burn on, our, on the next turn. Does, when does these flames go out? I don't think they do. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Okay, let's use our guard and then kill uh, this lad. Um, and I'm gonna slam out of the fire and then reload. And that person will die and we're no longer on fire. <laughs> so these guys have had every opportunity to rage as much as they want, which means they have ridiculous damage right now. Uh, that being said, I can do 20 damage. That's not enough. Why don't we move one away and that way we can do range damage and then they, they can't really do too much to us. So we'll go ahead and do a jab then we'll use um, a guard to reload and then we'll faint them and we you know can gain some defense. There are some card like there are weapons and stuff items that let you keep some of your defense which is nice. Oh cool we're getting we're getting duplicate jab cards now that's actually what we want. What Where are all of our blue cards? Dang. So we'll kill this lad. Why is that doing arranged damage? What? That's weird. Oh, I have to reload. Shoot. Yeah, then that was a that was a bad place to be in. It's a good thing we're we're like positionally in a good place because um, you know, not not the greatest situation to be in when <laughs> you you only have two cards and you have to use one of them to reload. So I don't know about this combust card, I gotta say. If we had the other card that let us um, gain from being on fire, then that would be something for sure. This guy is about to do 18 damage. I don't want to be a part of that, really. So I'm gonna move out of the way and then wind up and I don't, I guess I'll just reload. You know, this is just a recovery turn. If we had our, um, if I had my slam, I guess I used my slam. The slam is, oh, can we double an attack twice? No, you can't. I just wasted that. That's fine. We're still going to win. Um, the slam gets exhausted when you use it, which means that it, it just gets pulled out of your deck for the rest of the uh, battle. You've won the fight. Select a new card. Fortify. Oh, wow. 30 armor but it's gone um roll move one tile reduce cost by one each time this card is retained this fight cost resets when played and adds fatigue uh move one tile that's an interesting card it's a it's interesting to me how this um game really puts a lot of restriction on movement i kind of like this but i don't think it's great for us i kind of want fortify but it's the wrong color Blind is pretty good. Blind is basically the same as a, an attack that gives you block because it reduces the damage of an opponent. So we have a rusty longsword that's two-handed. We're not taking that. We could take a rusty crossbow, so we're doing ranged damage with both of our hands. I don't think I like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell all these. I'm, I'm hoping for a shield, honestly. So let's go to the shop. Maybe we can get, get ourselves a shield. Um, actually, yeah, let's go. Let's look at items. I generally look at cards, but okay, here we go. Buckler increases block by one, gain one barricade. So barricade lets us retain 
our defense. Keep half your block this turn. Yeah, so you get half you get to keep half your block for a turn. Um Weird that it says this turn. I mean, you don't ever not have the buckler. When attacked, deal back damage equal to remaining block for turn. So this is really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Put this in our rusty sword. It's exactly what we wanted. This is the master sword. We could have afforded that, but I don't think it's necessarily worthwhile. Kind of like what we got going on. Um, power moves are really cool, but they're very expensive. They basically let you have like a single use um, power up for a, one of your items per combat. Gain one counter. So that's our power move, if I could afford it. We can upgrade um, one of our weapons though. Increases damage by two, attack up to three times. Wait, no. Select a weapon. Okay, so this becomes, uh, gives you two barricade. And then this becomes plus three attack. Um, I kind of want to increase the buckler. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the boring choice, but I think it. I think it'll be good. Um, we are out of money. That's the most stuff I've ever bought from the shop, so I think that's pretty good. So now we, um, we have the option to fight the champion. Now you only have to do five fights to do the to, to fight the champion. That being said, I think this is one of those games where you're gonna want to get the most out of your, uh, you know, out of the arena before you attempt the champion because they are really really tough. They are so tough. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna go to the rest spot and I'm gonna train because we are very close to full health. That may be a risk. If I even want to attempt one of the elites, it might be a good idea to do the elite and then heal, but I don't know. Tra select a card that you wish to upgrade. Blind isn't bad, but that just, um, yeah, applies too weak. So that means they do less damage on the next turn and then the following turn, which is not bad at all. Heavy rain would become an 11. Draw a random heavy rain from the draw pile, and re I don't think it, we did. We really made the most out of heavy rain, if I'm being honest. Uh, oh, focus equal to 50% damage dealt. Not does not use focus. That's pretty good. I actually really like that. So faint would become really good, and um, the only other one, blood for blood, does that become any better? Not really. It's just increasing our defense. So I think Faint would be one of the best ones. Wind Up wouldn't be bad because making it a zero cost card is like it's a card I almost always use. Apply three burn to every enemy within range. I, I actually kind of want to get rid of uh, Combust. I regret taking it. Slam becomes a zero cost card. It would be nice if it removed the exhaust. I think I want to take uh, make faint the upgrade. I think that that is very worthwhile. So the question is, do we go for uh, do we fight an elite? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. So this person is going to guard. Enemy prepares to gain 25 block. This is the first enemy uh, that we've seen that has block. Block means that you know they have shield like we do, except it doesn't go away unless we remove it for them. Um, but when we do remove it, they get stunned for like a couple of turns, which is really nice. So uh, very, very worthwhile. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move, we're gonna block, and then we're gonna faint kill this character. And we'll gain some focus as well. Unfortunately, it means we're gonna have to reload on the next turn. Always a bad idea to, wait, we didn't kill them? I thought that we, we were gonna kill them. Why did I think we were gonna kill them? <laughs> I have no idea. Also, I didn't realize blind was not in the color that I had assigned to our attack. So that's no good. Um, so we should be able to kill this person this turn, right? Just do the normal attack. All right. We lost all our focus, but that's okay. We'll reload and Hmm. Well, we can't really do anything else. We may as well attack for 10. 
And maybe I'll throw a trap down. Oh, I can't really throw a trap down in a spot, in, in an obvious spot. Okay, we can block m all of their damage, which is good. This person is just kind of chilling, which is really nice, actually. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and guard. We'll do four damage. We, oh, we have to, mm, bummer. I, I have to reload, so we're gonna have to reload, but that's okay, we're gonna gain a little bit of focus. We still have barricade. I don't know what the deal is with the barricade, if I'm being honest. We get to keep, like, all of our shield, basically. Well, this is the first time we've seen jab. I should use it. You know what? Let's move over here. Uh, and that way we can... Hmm. Let's use a strike to kill this character. <clears throat> and then we're going to use a... I'm tempted to use the jab, honestly, but let's use the heavy rain on the enemy. Prideless scum, you asked for it. Yeah, well, I mean, this is this is an arena. I don't know what you expected. That looks like a nice weapon or item. Uh, I don't think it is actually as good. Wait a minute. Does this have a power move? <clears throat> Gain one counter. Oh, it does have a it does have a power move. I'm not sure what the gain. Oh, I see it has, I can use its power move twice. That's what that means. An encounter is when attack to deal damage equal to remaining block. Nice, okay, that's actually really good. So we're gonna do our, a feint. Focus plus five, wow, that looks like a nice weapon. Increases damage by three, apply one death mark. Uh, kill to gain one energy, lasts one turn. Interesting. Three damage. That's a, that's a really good weapon that just got thrown to me. <clears throat> Guard broken, stunned. Good. I'm not going to use up my, my... I'm not going to use up my, my trap. Because I actually think I have a good chance of beating this combat without taking any damage. Maybe I'm, I'm very uh, big on myself right now, but we'll see. So I'll just use a guard. The guard does actually benefit us since we get to keep some of it. So now, what do we want to do? Well, we definitely want to reload. And, uh, oh, I see they're stunned right now. Shucks. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer. Because we're not going to be able to do any damage right now. Males will use our wind-up and then we'll guard. I see. They're going to gain strength every time I use something. What is it? Gain one strength whenever you play a card that is not a combat. Okay. So they get a little bit stronger every time I play a non-combat card. They're about to gain their uh, block back. So I, should, I really ought to do as much damage as I can. It's really frustrating that I'm getting all of my red attack cards kind of the worst oh we don't we don't attack downwards this is like really bad right now yeah so we're, we actually can't do anything right now damn block 25 so now we have to get rid of 25 shield yeah they gain strength even when I move which is a bummer so let's do 20 damage and gain focus. Focus plus 10, wow. Almost feels a shame to get rid of my focus right now. Like I'd almost rather just kind of wheel around my deck again so that I have focus for the next time I use that. Um, I guess I'll throw up the shield just so that I keep my shield at some kind of comfortable level. So they're about to do 14 damage. That's kind of totally okay with me, honestly. So wait, do we loot? We still have 10 focus. If I use slam, you play deals 10 additional damage. So if I use slam, this is totally fine. Um, 
because it's an action. It's not a not a combat. Um, do we have? We only have the focus. We don't have kinetic. So I feel like we want to just like move out of the way. I don't care that he's gaining strength. To be honest, we're gonna get up our kinetic. See, we're about to do. Th we're gonna do thirty damage with our next attack. That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, and I'll just go ahead. Oh, I see guard is also combat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep our defense from like decreasing completely And I'm waiting for a really good attack and this looks like the one This looks like the one BB. All right So they're stunned whatever they were about to do is no longer ap applicable and then we're just gonna strike them as much as possible Faint to gain our combat back up. We don't want to use combat, uh, combust because we don't need to. And we killed them. We took basically no damage for that elite combat. That feels pretty good. And we get 100 gold. New card unlocked. Terrorize. Apply one week to all enemies. Reduce da attack damage by 20. Oh, nice. That's a pretty cool card. You've won the fight. Select a new card. Payback, deal 14 damage, reduce cost by one action each time you lose HP this fight. Uh, interesting. So, that might be good for, like, the last combat. And it is in our in the our attack color. Um, zero zone. All cards in your hand cost zero this turn. Draw one card, receive one absorbed. You cannot draw any more cards this turn. Okay. Not bad. Dupe. Deal six damage, return a random zero card from your discard pile to your hand. I don't know. Shield charge is kind of interesting, but uh, adds fatigue. Does it give it, gain one barricade? So we gain, we, we get to keep our, our shield. Um, free hit, landing a hit reduces the cost to, to zero. Playing it adds one fatigue. I don't know. Shield charge just sounds kind of nice. Dupe. I don't know if we really we don't like. Do we have any zero cost cards in our deck? Just jab. So actually, not bad. From your discard pile to your hand. Yeah, this is actually really good, and it's in our color. So that would work with dupe or with jab really, really well. Uh, I'm tempted on shield, except it, I, we have an upgraded buckler, and I think it's actually better. Um, this demon slayer axe is hilarious. Uh, it's not two-handed. It does apply death mark. The problem is, is death mark is functionally worthless for the last boss because um, there's only one enemy we really have to worry about. Um, adds, and it adds fatigue. So I actually think it would be worth selling the, all of these. I feel like the weakening trap will be better than the health potion, maybe? I don't know. It's 20 HP. It's not bad. But the weakening trap immobilizes them for one turn, so we get like an extra whole extra attack, basically. So I don't know. Twenty HP doesn't really mean much um, in the last phase. I almost kind of want to do our other elite. We're gonna do the event. Sell buckler. No, I'm not. I'm not selling either of our weapons. That's that's awful. Um, buy cards, remove cards, switch card colors. This sounds like a good idea right now. Um, gain efficient combo finisher. Deal four damage per combo count. Not wor really worthwhile, I think. Also, we can't afford any of these. Um, we can switch colors for one of our cards. So why don't we go ahead and make our blind a blue card. And that's pretty good. We have a good balance of things. Too bad we can't do another one. Can we sell some items? No, we can't. T it sucks that we don't have enough money to do something else, but that's not a bad thing we just did. So we could fight another elite, but there's like the best we could hope for is getting a better weapon or maybe an item. I don't think that's likely to happen, and the money's not going to mean much because we don't have another shop we can spend it at. So I'm going to go ahead and fight the champion. So I haven't seen this guy before. It looks like it's a big old spider. Spawns eggs. So I guess that demon axe would have actually been pretty good, huh? 
The good news is we have a lot of weapons right here. Oh, it's about to... Enemy prepares to deal five damage. Oh. So let's uh, move over here so we're not taking any damage. Return a random zero card. We don't have any zero cost cards so far, so dupe is going to do nothing. So let's just go ahead and... Um, well, actually, let's use a strike on this spider. Reload and do 10 damage to this the, the spider. And then we'll reload again. So these are, I assume, going to turn into more spiders, which is not great. Prepares to hatch a spiderling. These are spiderlings, okay. And he's about to do 12 damage to all these, including his own, like, ally there. So that's pretty good. Um, I kind of want to get rid of some of these hatchlings. Not really doing a lot of damage right now. So, not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, we, we have all of our red cards right now, so I can't do any range to damage. So I'm just going to go ahead and wind up, and I guess uh, I'm just going to put up all of our dukes. Um, so that we have defense when we need it. Oh my god, I thought they were just going to be one spider each. The fact that they're like two spiders each is a nightmare. This is a rare occasion where I think combust is actually going to be really good. So these are these also become obstacles. Jesus. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Could use our power. Um when attack deal damage uh deal back damage equal to remaining block. Oh, I see. Um hmm. It's not as good as it sounds to be honest. I think I want to do a slam because that'll get us out of this zone. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish that guy off. 10. Tempted to do combust, but that's gonna make things tricky for us, to be honest. Needle potion, gain two spiky. Oh, that's actually nice. Um, yeah, let's throw down a combust. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think we're going to need it for crowd control purposes. This our, this character just does not care about uh, killing their own character, their, their own friends. Okay, let's get out of the way there. And I'm going to go ahead and use this throw it down here it'll probably get used up by one of the spiderlings if we're really lucky it'll get used by this the spider queen and i'm gonna go ahead and use our needle potion i hope that's for the whole combat and not just like one turn okay we're gonna go ahead and just i guess guard like the problem is that this guy is about to die anyway. This thing's about to spawn a lot of enemies. We can jab. We'll jab because then we'll have a jab in our discard pile. Then we have to reload. So we'll use uh, our feint. I guess the feint would have been good because then we would have gained focus. Shucks. Move. Move it. No. I was really hoping the boss would move there. Oh well. Okay, let's get out of that zone so we're finally not on fire. <laughs> and then, well, we'll, yeah, we'll make another combust. Why not? Sure. Um, let's get rid of this guy. I have yet to be able to attack the boss, which is not a great thing. Let's use this... No, we, yeah, let's use this wind-up. And then we, can, we can't do anything else. Strike shield... Strike shield on the ground. Um, increases block by two. Gain one barricade. Power mode. Enter strike mode. Deal knockback. Interesting. I think I'm good.
All right, so this is the first time they are within range. We're definitely going to move out of the way. Um, and then dupe is going to be great because it's going to give us a jab. And then we'll, um, we don't have to, we'll use a guard to reload. And we'll use a jab. Then we'll use a strike to reload. And then we'll do a strike. It was a good combo there. Worth the ticket. <laughs> Okay, we just got stunned. That's really not good. Remove from deck permanently. Can we not do this at all? Oh, no, we can. And I think it would be worthwhile because we were about to take a bunch of damage. Although we could have got to uh, put up our blood for blood. Would have been pretty good, actually. And then dealt back damage based on our defense. Um, we're just going to get rid of the stun and then reload. Okay, alright, alright, this is bad. Um, we don't have any combat. I was thinking we could move over here, but like, you know, we're... we're, we're very rapidly in a bad position. So I think we want to do a wind up and faint. We are like 100% trapped here now. Gonna reload and then we'll do a jab. We're gonna take five damage. Um, we are like completely hip penned in here a little bit. I think what we want to do is move here and I might be able to destroy this and then shoot them. Oh no, we have to reload. So kind of never mind. Let's go ahead and just like kill one of these guys and then reload. I don't want to use the combust. It's tempting, but it's I don't think it's worthwhile because it's just gonna be these four tiles and it's only gonna hurt me. Oh no, I've been stunned. And I am completely pinned. Okay, that means that we have to defend and of course I don't have any of my defend cards now. I wonder if I made a mistake by not taking that demon axe. I feel like I have made a mistake by not taking that demon axe. Okay, let's get rid of the... Well, we're gonna get rid of that stun, and I think I wanna use my counter. I don't know, we, we can we can do some st stuff here. Not a lot. We can get rid of this guy at the very least. And then reload, and then dupe. To get another jab, and then reload. And then... Um, I guess jab. <laughs> Doing any anything and everything except fighting the boss. We're about to take some damage. In a way that's good because it means that there's one less hatchling. Okay. I'm gonna reload. Um, I, I'm again in this position where I can't really do anything. <laughs> I wonder who... Okay, enemy order. Oh, okay, so unfortunately this means that this spider gets to move first. I was wondering if maybe the spider queen got to um, go first and then this this guy doesn't matter. Um, no point in getting rid of this obstacle, honestly. I guess there is a point. Alright, well, we'll do a normal strike to it without the crossbow. And um, do I have a kinetic saved up? I have spiky saved up. I'm gonna go ahead and get a kinetic saved up. On the off chance, eventually I get to like attack the queen. <sighs> really tempted to do like anything, but it just doesn't matter. Wait, actually it kind of does matter. Okay, hold on a second. If I get rid of this, then I don't have to deal with two more spiders on the field. Okay. 
Um, we can actually fight the boss. I know, it's amazing. Alright, we're gonna do a jab, reload, and jab. And then we'll do a strike, doesn't really do much. Putting, doing the, the guard still helps because we get to keep a little bit of the guard. Oh no. This is better than I've done previously, I will say. Okay, this is a good situation to be in, sort of. No, never mind, it's not, because we have to reload. And then we're, oh, and they're about to drop some stuff on us, so I just made a mistake by not moving. They're about to do 15 damage. That was the first really major mistake I made, so I'm gonna have to defend now. I'm gonna throw down a combust to heck with it. And we'll reload. All right, so now we get to attack the boss again. We're gonna move out, try and get out of this fire. Um, blind, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. Instead, I wanna do a heavy rain and jab. So we'll do a heavy rain. Reload, jab, reload, and look at that, we get to do blind as well. Um, so this is pretty good, not bad at all. They do have burn as well on, so hopefully they'll burn for quite a long time. So we can't uh, we can't attack them now unless I somehow get rid of this obstacle as well. Don't really like our situation right now, if I'm being honest. Let's get out of here, and we're gonna have to kill this spider. Uh, with what I'm not sure actually. You know what? It would be better if we didn't, because I can defend instead and we'll get some focus for doing so okay I took a lot more damage for that than I should have but that's okay we got a lot of focus for doing so so I'm out I could do 30 damage with one of our jabs oh we can kill them because we can do a wind up and, and double that yes dead nice you really are a crowd pleaser amazing that's my first victory in this game new card unlocked to double take clone one card in your hand and place it on top of your draw pile remove from deck until the fight ends nice you've won the fight select a new card what do you mean is that, is there more i thought that that was the whole game Gain seven block for each surrounding unit. Standard guard is pretty good. Especially in that fight, it would have been really good. Um, it's unfortunately a blue card. I would actually take this card and make it a... Uh, make it a red card if I could. Repel, gain five block, gain one counter. I think that standard guard is a better card. I think it, it would be really good. Although, okay, draw one card for each surrounding unit. Oh, that's kind of nice, actually. Gain one strength each, so this gains a lot for fatigue cards. I, I, th I still think that standard guard is a better card for our efforts. The strike shield is cool, but I don't think it's as good as what we currently have. An accessory. Gain one each turn, receive three shackles and two hardy. Increase cost of all movement cards by one for each turn. Sorry, for one turn. So, is that forever or for one turn increase block gained from cards in your hand by one per stack stack decreases each turn uh, restore three hp when you kill an enemy that sounds really good card rewards from fights will be upgraded from now on you can no longer remove any cards through meditation or at shops oof that's not necessarily bad although we have we have a lot of cards in our deck that we would like to get rid of so i think vampire bracer so does this mean there's like a lot more going on second level i didn't know there was a second level 
well, um, this is the kind of game I actually would really like to do a series for. So maybe you'd like to let me know if that's something you would watch enjoy. Um, this is Alina for the arena and I'm gonna stop this here. If you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. And definitely let, let me know if you'd like to see more of this. Take it easy.